All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today is the release day of 2021 OPG Platinum Hockey. So we got four cards per pack, 20 packs per box, and the box cost $150 on my LCS. So as for OPG Platinum, I've actually never opened this product. Uh, just a couple loose packs, I would think. Basically, it came out about 14, 15, I believe. I had collected before that, and then I got back into it a few years ago, but just never had the chance to open this. So here we are, I figured I'd give it a shot since it's new on release day. Of course, there's a whole ton of parallels in this set, so it's very parallel focused. You do get one autograph as well, but as for the parallels, there's just tons of them. We got Rainbow, Sunset, Matte Pink, Blue Surge, all that kind of stuff. I'll throw a list on screen. New this year are Aquamarine at a 499, Yellow Tracks at a 249, and then Cosmic at a 65. So overall, 16 different base parallels, and I believe you get two of those per box. And then there's also the uh, Retro parallels as well. There's a couple of those. There's some cool different inserts in here. And then there's some rookie autographs with a whole ton of parallels of those as well. So in every box, we can expect one autograph, five rainbow and two sunset parallels, and then two numbered base parallels. And there's also like six retros, I believe, and three inserts. So many people were saying that Upper Deck is watering it down a little bit this year with the addition of more parallels as uh, you, know, you still only get two, but now it's very tough to kind of pull up a lower numbered one. But we'll see. Those lower numbered parallels are pretty pretty well desired, especially if it's a good player. But anyways, let's crack into it. Again, like most other products, I don't know about the value if this is worth $150. I think it used to be like $105 before the pandemic, so. I will say the box design looks fantastic with Sid on the cover there. I believe that's a reverse retro, which I'm a big fan of. And then you got a nice uh, kind of like winter skate ice vibe. But anyways, here we go. Again, there's the back of the packs with all the odds on it. Hobby pack, of course. I think they do have retail of this stuff. And let's begin. Again, I'm not sure what to look out for exactly. Um, maybe I'll try to concede or hide the auto until the end. All right, just wanted to change up the camera angle a little bit. It was a lot of glare showing my face in the cards. Not that I'm opposed to that at all, but uh, you guys are here to see the cards and not me. So anyways, uh, this is the base cards, uh, Duncan Keith. It's a nice looking card. Obviously takes, uh, like basically shines and chromes out the regular OPG cards from this year. So Duncan Keith, I don't mind this design, not bad. Then we've got Travis Konechny. Patrick Kane on the back, and it looks like this would be a yellow tracks of David Krejci. So you can kind of see the tracks, uh, the tracks parallel design there, and it says in the back yellow tracks 153 of 249. So that's one of our parallels. Unfortunately, it's a player that's no longer in the NHL, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, one of the not best ones to get, let's put it that way. Um, but it does look like a nice card, so. All right, moving on, we've got Derek Stepan. Here's a Patrick Kane retro. Oh, nice. And we've got a marquee rookie of Pavel Francouz. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, there's the retro design. Um, it looks like it takes the same picture. I don't know if that's for everyone. Hopefully not, but... Oh, and it's a rainbow as well. I, I can't really see the rainbow effect on this one, to be honest. I mean, it's there a little bit. You can kind of see it there, but definitely not as much as years prior, I kind of find. But anyways, and there's Jacob Brana. All right. Moving on. We've got Tuka Rask. We have Tyler Toffoli. There's a marquee rookie, looks like a rainbow of Kiefer Bellows. Yep, that's the rainbow, and here's the regular of Morgan Geeky. So, I mean, it's a tad, it's a tad different there, like just a little bit. A couple of rookies there. And I, this is still a 2021 product, so we're looking at last year's rookies. I don't know. I actually didn't even look, ch check out the checklist to see who was in here. Looks like we have a pink of some sort. It might be our matte pink. Brent Burns. There's a Gage Quinney RC rookie card. Looks like a retro. There's uh, Adam Henrique, Matt Pink. I don't think these are numbered, Matt Pink. I think one, those are one per box, as I said, and Nick Schmaltz. All 
All right, we've got Aaron Ekblad. Here's a best in the world of our Temi Panarin. So that's actually a really cool looking insert there. Best in the world, our Temi Panarin. Awesome looking insert, very pleased with that. Here's a Timothy Lozergren marquee rookie and Kevin Fiala. I would not mind collecting those inserts as those look really sharp. All right, this pack is kind of disintegrating on us. We've got Quinn Hughes. Looks like that's a marquee rookie sunset parallel of Mikael Berdin, Berdin, whatever, sunset. Elvis Merzlikens and a marquee rookie of Bowen Byram. So we've already got one of our numbered parallels. Hopefully the other one's a lower numbered one. And hopefully our auto is half decent, so we'll see. Here's Kyle Palmieri, Travis Konechny Retro, and that's pretty solid. We have a Braden Point Seismic Gold. Sorry, Orange Checker's even better. And there's the base of Braden Point, that's kind of funny. Back-to-back uh, -back Braden Point. So I asked for a low-numbered card and I did receive it. It's also a really good comparison of a regular card, base card versus a parallel. But Braden Point, and it looks to be an orange checkers, 13 of 25. So very short printed there. I will take that, very nice. Very happy with that. All right, moving on, we have Ryan O'Reilly. Looks like we have a sweet selections of Gabe Velarde. So, so another insert card here, I guess that's two of three right now. Gabe Velarde, then we've got Igor Zamula, Marquee Rookie, and Alex Dabrinkit. So yeah, it kind of looks like Series 1 rookies, which is honestly kind of annoying at this point because we have just seen them so many times. But moving on, Nikita Kucherov, that's a rainbow of Taylor Hall. Marquee Rookie of Jason Robertson, that's pretty solid. And Alex Radulov. So I guess this is the halfway stack here, pack number 10. We got Matt Zuccarello, Tyler Sagan, Gabe Velarde uh, Retro, and Keandre Miller Rookie. The pink kind of threw me off at the back there. But it is a fun product, I will say that. Uh, the cards look beautiful and there's a whole lot of inserts and stuff going on, so every pack I think you do get something. JVR, there's a PK Subban, Mitch Marner Rainbow, and Evgeny Malkin. So I guess that would be like a, as base of a pack as you can get. Don't think there are base packs. Moving on, we've got Johnny Hockey. Joe Pavelski. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Is, is this our third parallel? Uh, Vlad Tarasenko. First on the back, we've got an Alex Belzile rookie. And we have a Vlad Tarasenko Arctic Freeze, number 40 of 99. So that's an absolutely beautiful card there. Wow. That looks very, very nice. So through our first 10 packs, it looks like we do have all three of our numbered cards. Or sounds like it. There's a David Pasternak. This is new this year. And it is the right player to get. Photo driven of Connor McDavid. So this is pretty cool actually. I like this. Back and front kind of has like a photo. The old retro photo vibe. That's pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Mark Shifley and Connor McMichael. Alright. Moving along, I guess you can tell the retro by the pink there. We've got Jack Eichel, New Vegas Golden Knight, Matthew Dechuk, Philip Kurashev, Rookie Retro, and Brock Nelson. So I definitely am enjoying this so far. Might, might pick up another box. 150 is pretty steep, I think, for what you get, but um, still, I'm, I'm enjoying this right now. I'm more of a hits guy, though, but still. Alex Petrangelo, Jeff Skinner, Rainbow. Shane Bowers, rookie, and Svechnikov, base. So I think we're just basically waiting on our auto. We pretty much have everything else covered. 
Taylor Hall, Brian Rust. There's a Jacob Slavin, Sunset Parallel, and a Niels Hoglander rookie. So that's a good rookie. Beautiful, beautiful uh, parallel this is. Wow. Love these Sunset Parallels. Those are awesome. All right, looks like we've got four packs to go. So the auto kind of has been saving itself for the end. I didn't have to do much there. Another Jeff Skinner. Another Brian Rust um, Rainbow. Mitch Marner and Kiefer Bellows, rookie. All right, now we've got Thomas Shabbat, Colton Pareko, Quinn Hughes, rookie, uh, retro, sorry, and John Carlson. Final two packs. Got Dylan Larkin. And there's our rookie auto snuck right up on us, and it's going to be Adam Boquist. Uh, we'll finish off the pack first with Sean Monahan and Ty Delandrea, or Delandria. So there's Adam Boquist. That's our rookie auto. I think this is last year's. Yeah. So we did get an update. It's a 1920 update of Adam Boquist. So it's actually not a 2021 auto, which kind of sucks. Honestly, it really sucks to be honest. Um, you kind of buy 2021 to get a, the new rookie autos and not the ones from last year. Otherwise I would have bought 1920. So that is a little disappointing for sure. Um, Adam Boquist auto. And we'll finish up our last pack here. Philip Forsberg, Darnell Nurse, Dustin Brown retro and Cal Foot rookie. All right, so here's a recap of the box. We've got our little stack of base. We did hit four rainbow base parallels, three uh, retro uh, retro rookies there. We had three retro base parallels, and then the cane is a rainbow. We had 15 marquee rookies, including um, one rainbow of the bellows. Then we've got our two sunset parallels. One of them was a rookie, which is cool. We've got a sweet selection, a photo driven, and a best in the world. And then we have a couple parallels here. So we got the point orange checkers at a 25, which is pretty cool. The Arctic freeze of Vladi Tarasenko at a 99. And then Krejci was the yellow tracks at a 299. And the matte pink was Henrique, not numbered. And our auto was an update rookie auto from last year, 1920 of Adam Boquist. So that's it for this break, guys. Let me know what you think of 2021 OPG Platinum and how your boxes are going. So as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe for a lot more hockey card content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.